Good evening, my name is Charlie Veach. Um, like many of you, I've just watched the final moments of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi in Libya with his face beaten to a pulp and being dragged from the back of a pickup about to be executed by a group of savage men screaming Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God is great. I don't know about you, but even watching a tyrant perhaps get his just desserts it didn't make me feel happy for the future of Libya. It didn't make me feel that I was proud that we'd remove the world of one more tyrant or dictator. What I saw was a bunch of barbaric, nasty people letting their hatred seethe to the surface. And they basically murdered a man in hot blood, in cold blood, whichever way you want to look at it. And I am sickened by those images. And then there's the knowledge that it's the British, American, Italian, French governments, NATO, that went in there with their super technologically advanced weaponry, their bombs, their fighter jets, their training, their arming, the Qataris, the Middle East, arming the rebels with money, and there's many commentators online and in the mainstream who find that uh, many of these rebels might be quite fanatic about their religion and quite fanatic about what they want to do now in the formerly secular, the formerly rich Libya. So I just want to, uh, to maybe use this disgusting act against Gaddafi as a warning to those who see themselves in charge of our society. We all know the world is changing very quickly and that revolutions are happening all across the globe and they're starting to seethe and bubble and burst to the surface in America, in Europe, London, Greece, France, Italy, the Middle East. And I just want our dear leaders, I want David Cameron or Barack Obama or George Osborne, or whoever the Vice President in America is, I don't know his name, it's not Dick Cheney, but I just want these fuckers to see what happens when you keep a population down and you keep an unequal population down and brutalized for long enough. Maybe it will be you in a couple of years time, once this really kicks off, being pulled out of the back of a Toyota pickup with your face bloodied, with no dignity, your fear paraded to the whole world's media, and it might be you that ends up with a 9mm bullet in the back of the head as the Chinese or the Russians liberate Great Britain or America. So it's a sad, sad day. I'm not sad for Gaddafi. I'm just sad that my supposed civilized nations allowed this atrocity to happen. Anyway, we're occupying the London Stock Exchange. Please do come down. Please do join it. Please support it. Thank you very much.